Hey, what's up, guys? This is The Game Stork with episode 3 of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, the playthrough. So, uh, we just received 100,000 gold from a Jabba the Hutt type creature who has imprisoned women and or maybe just paid them a lot of money to dress extremely provocatively and open doors and lead people into his office for him. So, anyway, uh, we are leaving and let's see what uh, Pipunin tells us if he gives us something. Chairman Bana, explain everything. Then we'll get to work straight away. Can buy good equipment and money from Chairman Bana. Yeah. When friend ready, head to Goldmouth Exit Dock. Well, I, okay, yeah. That's cool. Alright, so we got cosmetics, we got that, we got a bookstore over there, it's probably like spells and stuff. Um, accessories. Now you know as well as I do, the first thing that I want is a blade. It's a blade. It's a blade, that's what it is. Wait, did, did he say I had to buy it from Bana? Uh-huh, there it is. Smithing. Okay, let's see what you got here. Mercenary, a driver, or even a blade. Wait, what? Products sold here aren't much used to salvagers like me. Yeah, I'm trying to, I want to buy something from you. Like, what are you talking about? Alright. Hargal. And you get another hundred grand when you get back. Lucky you. What I wouldn't give for that kind of money. Well, um, I, I, I'm not trying to guilt you or anything. You just do your best out there, all right? Guilt you. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, slave. All right, well, let's just go talk to uh, Gramps then first, and we will go from there. Can I? There we go. Okay, so... Okay, so that's just my skip travel points. Yeah, we'll go ahead and skip travel there. Even though it's like five steps away. Hey, Gramps. How is it? All right, I'll see you later. Should be back in a day or two. Take it easy, Gramps. That does not about cover it in the slightest. Why would you Whoa. take a job you know nothing about? You don't even know who your employer is. This came straight from the chairman, remember? What more do you need? Anyway, I'm off. You can take a nap while you wait. Hey, come back here, will you? Rex! Now that I've got Graham's permission, which you don't, just about, I'd better start making preparations for this mission. A hundred grand to spend? That sure is an exciting prospect. I could buy a whole new cutting edge salvaging unit. But no, I can't splurge this all at once. The folks back home need this money more than I do. I'll hold off on making any big purchases and just head to accessories. What? Get a blade, bro. Big job preparations received. Yeah, let's set that as our active quest. You accepted a quest. There are two types of quests. Regular and main story quest. Oh no, regular ones are the main story. You need to complete the main story quest to advance the main story. The direction of the next location is sewn on the compass as a pink exclamation mark. Uh, a word of warning here, the pink icon will not appear on the compass at the top of the screen unless you set a quest as active. Feel free to ignore this feature if you're a seasoned veteran, but rookie adventurers would do well to remember to set active quests whenever possible. Ordinary quests aren't vital for the main story. Follow the blue exclamation mark icon to get to the next destination. All right, the full... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, all right, yeah, mm -hmm. all right. So, it's interesting because I consider myself somewhat of a seasoned veteran at these games, and I always sit an active voice, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I would just, you know, soon if you give me a quest, I would just talk about quests. Mm -hmm. 
ba -doo, ba -boo, ba -boo. Yeah, give me some cheap accessories, cause I'm, I want to send all my money back home. Ah, friend Rex, good to, good to be seen. Hey, Shanini, you still got that thing we talked about before? <laughs> Just imagine it's like Yoda. <laughs> ah, Rex finally save up money to purchase. You got it. Can I have a look? Mmm, buy you must. Abyss vest, you see. Five thousand it is. <laughs> it's like, uh, how many do you want to buy? Well, obviously just one. Why, Rick, suddenly have much monies? Salvage some amazing treasure, he must. <laughs> I've taken on a big job direct from the chairman. I've got a hundred thousand gold just for the white town or whatever that. Wow, that quite impressive it is. But I'll be going into uncharted waters, so I want to make sure I'm prepared. This accessory is sure to protect Rex. Shinini guarantee he does. Good luck on job. <laughs> I just, I can't do it anymore with this. Alright, I still got a fair amount of cash left. Uh, yeah, 95 grand. Uh, time to send some back home to the folks in Fawcett. I'd best go see Milolo at Central Exchange again. You are killing me, man. You finally got that Abyss Vest you've always wanted. It'll boost your maximum HP by 24%. Right now, the Abyss Vest is only an accessory you have, but you're sure to encounter a whole lot more during your adventure. Just remember, you'll need to ex equip accessories to benefit from the effects. Go to Main Menu, Characters, Character Setup, Accessories, and do so. Okay. Alright, Main Menu. Oh, this is the map. Is it, is it the pause screen? There it is. Characters. Uh, yeah, Rex, accessories, uh, and let's let's do the. Oh, cool! There's two slots there. All right, so abyss vest going with the 431 HP. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this game rocks. It's totally gonna be you know taking over my life. I got that abyss vest. Now my life's com complete. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Central Exchange first. That's right. Hello, me Lolo. I'm going to send lots of money. Rex back again? Did friend forget something? No, I didn't actually forget anything. I just decided to make a cash transfer. Rex find money on floor? No pawn around here. Very popular about money. So it should return an even small change. No, I didn't pick up any small change. Actually, I got my hands on a big sum. Big sum? Like 2,000 gold? I'd rather not bandy the number about too much, but you just did. But more like a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand? <laughs> not so loud. Oh yes, sorry much. But where Rex to get all that gold? Actually, no, no need to tell Malolo. Uh, Malolo. Oh, Malolo, not want to get mixed up in shady business. I don't think that it's that big of a deal. Anywho, Rex, Malolo not able to accept such large sum here anyway. Should take directly to courier. All monies Malolo accept here always deliver to courier called Max. Oh, okay, Max. I know him. I didn't know he was also delivering the money for me all this time. <laughs> well, this certainly make things quicker. Friend, nowhere to find Max. Yeah, he'll be just through the Argentum Bazaar. Argentum Bazaar, right? Thanks, Malolo. Okay, you go have fun day. <laughs> All right, let's see. The bazaar. Am I going further from it? It's gotta be inside, somewhere here. Somewhere here, the bazaar. Possibly upstairs, I suppose. I don't know what's going on here. Let's see. Is this the bazaar? the bazaar I guess I have to go through this dude's office let me go through your office that apparently has a direct connection to the bazaar oh wow yeah treasure yes I think treasure I'll quiet. steal your treasure whoopity whoop that's a lot of money um, oh, I must be straight below me well, that worked out because it led me to treasure anyway. You would. 
There he is. Hello, Max. Hey, Max. I'd like to transfer some money. Why, if it isn't Rex, pretty rare for a client to drop cash off in person. It's a big sum this time, so Malolo said I should bring it straight to you. You're quite the guy, you know. Not many people send all this money back to their folks every single month. <laughs> well, it's not that big of a deal. So how much we talking? I don't want to completely empty my pockets so after leaving a bit for myself. Let's say... Um... What? I can't change it? I can't change it. Ah, whatever. Can you deliver 90,000 gold to Corin of the Forn Fonset Village, please? Woo, that's quite the healthy sum. Did you haul up some huge treasure? Uh, something like that. I took on a big job from the chairman. Now that sure sounds like a pie I'd like to have a piece of. Oh yeah, I got a delivery for you too. Good thing you dropped by, else I'd have to track you down. It's from the same Auntie Corrine of yours, actually. Oh, it's Bray's Cloud Sea Shark. Hmm. That looks delicious. I'll have to dig into that later. Thanks, Max. Take care of the transfer for me, okay? You can count on me, buddy. Hello there, friend Rex. Rui, proprietor of Whiteside Salvaging, at your service. No need for introductions with me, Rui. Rui. Rue Rui. There we go. Uh, I was thinking of going to check out some cylinders in a bit. Well, that perfect timing. Rui -ru -ru just get a new brand cylinder type. Uh, if having time for one to test out, really, you'd let me? Rex is up and coming star of Salvager World. If Rex approve a quality, easier for Rui -ru -ru to sell. Uh, it's not every day you get the chance to test out a brand new product. I'd be glad to help. Then it's settled. Come to see Rui -ru -ru on rear deck shortly then. Rui -ru -ru make preparation. Gotcha. Alright friends, that's going to do it for episode number 3 here of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This game is awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe below for all things Nintendo uh, so that I might deliver news, reviews, and playthroughs directly to you like a newborn baby.